the story so far. Having followed Inspector Hastings to Big Ben or the rest of the tower, it's glaring obvious that one of the our hands is missing. Could someone have stolen it? In order to investigate, Catriel and company head for the clock room. The space head behind the enormous faces that houses the mechanism of the great clock itself. Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Marcello Swearwell here, over here, and welcome back to Lane's Mystery Journey, Catchy L, and the Millionaire's Conspiracy. Last time we uh, started Case One, the Hand That Feeds, and now we're in the clock room, and there's some little mechanics here. And let us, there's this guy here. Let us talk. Ooh, what's this for us? Huh. Let us talk to him, shall we? What are you doing inside? No one's in public. It's alright. I'm from the leading detective agency. The police have given us position to investigate here. You're a serviceman for the great clock, I take it? No, yes. I'm Hans. Hans Lipsky. If this is for a missing hand, I already said to police everything I know. You people are drilling really hole in my belly. Well, I'm sorry to ask you to repeat yourself, but would you mind telling us what you told the police, Mr. Lipsky? Lipsky? Ken Lipsky? Wow, Cheryl. <laughs> he can't help his name, Cheryl. There's nothing to foretell him. When Han went missing, I already had him at home. I don't know nothing. You went home early yesterday, I understand. The day before, I was working until after midnight for the clock. So yesterday, I got home early. Is there any unusual about the hand that was taken? I wasn't loose or misaligned or anything? No, I fixed it only two days ago, like I tell you. When I put it back, I make sure it is good fixed on. I see. So there's no hand that the hand dropped off then. Stripped out of your hands, perhaps? Police already investigate everything. And here, around the clock face, but they find nothing they had gone now. Yes, tell me, Mr. Lipsky, when did you know what the hand was missing? Same time like everyone else. When I looked out the window this morning, I see missing hand. Oh, so where you live in this inside of the clock tower, and inside of the face with the missing hand, I see. No, yes, I am living close to here on Chester Lane. Gosh, how extraordinary! The same street that the agency is on. It's strange that we didn't notice the hand was missing ourselves. And exactly. I'm sure I remember seeing it when I looked at the clock tower this morning. Because you were looking at a different face, it depends on where you were living. Huh. Get the clue. It should be looking at it right here. Recently repaired our hand. The clock tower serviceman, Hans Lipsky, claims that he confirmed that our hand was firmly reattached after we repaired it the day before yesterday. Huh. Oh, he sells something to else to say. I fixed Mixing Hand just two days ago, and I'm making sure it's good fix when I tie it to clock again. Okay. What's this? The me mechanism fast as well, isn't it? And it keeps tickling, despite being one hand down. It's lucky there are three faces, other faces showing the correct time. The people of London rely on Big Ben to know the time. Ooh, hand coin. What's this? The clock faces are so vast, it's rather, rather strange seeing them from the inside. But apart from the missy hand, there doesn't appear to be anything out of the ordinary. Really, apart from the missing hour hand, nothing seems to be out of place. Golly, there are no clues at all. I would have expected to see some trace of the crime. After all, I had such a large order to make off with. We need more information. Let's go back down to the ground. There's something I'd like to ask Inspector Hastings. I know this time will come. The descent. It's alright for you, but I'm taking my life in pause climbing down these stairs. Ah yes, with a short it legs. Get off. Now now, Shell, it's safer this way. I as well carry you down, won't you, Ernest? I will. <laughs> hey, 
What did you pull that face for? I haven't got fleas, you know. I, I didn't pull a face. Come on, along. No arguing. Just trade us carefully, Ernest. Yes, Miss. What's this? What hand coin? Oh, found something. Both hands present and correct on this face, at least. That would be a good puzzle, wouldn't it? I'm a face but have no eyes, no ears, no mouth. I do have hands, however. What am I? As it happens, though, there is a different puzzle here. Look, do you want to try it? Well, I am the personal assistant of the great detective, Mr. Cratier Layton. Well, I ought to tackle a puzzle too from time to time. Puzzle time. Amaze balls. What? <laughs> Try your hand at the clock, this clock and ball puzzle to encourage you to move all the, the balls into the corresponding area of the clock. The balls can be moved vertically or horizontally, but the lines in the numbers on the clock act as barriers and they cannot be crossed. You can also kind of jump over all the balls or place one ball on top of another. Slide the balls to move them and touch the arrows to change the time on the clock. So it had to match 20 to 30. Okay. Oh, I see it now. Okay. So do... No? I thought that gonna work. Well, let's try this. Can you hold it? Yes, you can. 30. Oh, I see it. As you that there you go okay two so you're saying there has to be I have to make room Ugh, like that then do that no do is there a number I could use? No. Uh, not four. No work. Five. Fifty-one. So you're saying I need. A ball in these areas. I can use the numbers. No, seven. Oh, I mean, yeah. Go down there. I need, I need another number to jump it. I think that would be the number. Number one would work. Number one would work. Then jump it again to 30. No. To. Not four. Five could work. Jump it again. Okay. Now do. It should be like that. So you're saying. can I use? What the f- Huh? Wait.
I got it. Yes. Oh. Whew. Good work, Pinstripes. You're clawing back some respect here. Why, well, thank you, Shell. While merely a personal assistant to Miss Layton, I do hope to prove myself useful in the puzzle of the sawing department. I really don't remember saying I wanted a personal assistant. Oh dear, Miss, please don't reject me. As you can tell, Ernest, if you didn't know, has a crush on her. So, hopefully they have something to planned. Anyways, let's go back to the map and head downstairs, go outside to the clock room. Go outside to find Inspector Hastings. There's Inspector Hastings! Look! Even from this distance, I can see the furrows in his brow. Perhaps this vacation isn't going very well, miss. Ah, cat! What have you got for me? Who did it then? Who's the culprit? Please, Inspector, calm down. I'm still in the middle of my investigation. Oh, I see. I have a quick question for you, actually. According to Mr. Dolipsky, your officer examined the clock face, is that right? Yeah, of course. I had them check the clock room, the clock face, and all around the outside as well. But there are no clues, no fingerprints, nothing. There are really no traces at all, are there? Well, I had them take samples from the floor and the walls and from the clock face. They're being analyzed back at the yard now. When will the results be ready? Shouldn't be much longer. So what's your next move? I think we'll head back to the Chasseline. You will? You mean we're going back to the office, Milton? You can't do that. We haven't gone anywhere yet. I need your full attention to this case, cat. But Hastings, please, you must be so blickered. Sometimes you have to take a step back in order to see things from what they really are. Is that so? Yes, so excuse us. Hey, you're not serious. Are you sure leaving the scene is the best idea, Cat? Yes, of course. Come along now, you two. Let's get back to Chancellor Lane. In no distance, we'll be there in Jiffy on the bike. Oh, yes. Should explain how we moved on during the investigation. Examining the bike will the magnifying glass is the best way to cover longer distances. Select the destination and catch the move button and head that way. The next place to visit in terms of the navigation is highlighted with an ex exclamation mark. So it's simply a case of moving the magnifying glass over the bicycle and sounding it? Precisely. So get back to translating it is. Alright. Alright, here we are in Chancellor Lane. Well, here we are, Chancellor Lane Corner. There are a lot of interesting shops around here, aren't there? It's such a lively place. We're here for a mini break, are we? Good idea. First, let's have some tea. Eh? You know the old maxim. The rumbly tummy is a detective's downfall. No one says that. Of course they do. Well, they should do, anyway. You know, thinking about it, I don't know this three very well at all. Even though it's where it ain't cheese, okay? There's a fur factory to have a stroll down the lane and get better acquainted with our neighborhood. Walkies, eh? Well, at least I, I don't have to be on the lead. I don't know. Interview people around the neighborhood, okay? Let's talk about it. She doesn't count? Okay, the waiter. Oh, look, what a lovely tenant area this restaurant has. Ciao, Bella. Can I have your order, signorina? <laughs> thank you. Golly, he's a little unfamiliar, isn't he? Just before we order, I wonder if I could ask you something. Has there been anything unusual happening around here recently? Anything unusual? Hmm. Well, a lot of cutlery has been going missing lately. Forks and spoons and things. Oh, yes. And a silver tree as well. You mean they were stolen? I cannot say. There were no signs of breaking and entering. You know, cash taker. It didn't seem like a burglary exactly. I see. Well, thank you. Now, would we arrive if I ordered? Like the spitting spaghetti with the fatigued herb salad on the side, please. Honestly, though, 
That actually sounds amazing. <laughs> sounds delicious. You can say that again. And then in the chef's ominous omelette special, the hellfire risotto, and the mushroom surprise gnocchi, please, all at the same time. Wow, that's a lot. And they say dogs have eyes bigger than their bellies. For a minute there, I actually thought you were attempting some serious sales work. What did I just tell you, Shell? Empty stomach is the doctor's worst enemy. Um, okay. I must go and write all that down before I forget. Missing cutlery. Huh? So we have about two more clues to go, and we'll get the cutlery. Cutlery and the other silverware has been going missing at a restaurant on Transfer Lane, possibly related to the recent metal thefts in the capital. Arr, this place shares the best seafood in town, so it does. I see at the seven seas and the seas tops them all. Now I've had a belly first. I suppose I should be heading. Gotta get back to work. Let's see what time's Big Bang got. Ah, good. At least it's not the banjo clock face in view from here. That would have been just my luck. Especially seeing how I'm losing after me all oh, on everything. I really rely on the old clock tower now. Gosh, the missing hand of the clock is already missing people, it seems. Exactly, which is why we need to be pushing on the, the investigation. Not stop with every dish on the menu. Ah, that was absolutely delicious. I do believe I may be full. Maybe. <laughs> you just ate for four. <laughs> stop making out that I'm cutting. You and Ernest shared the food too. Yes, and it was so yummy. <laughs> well, anyway, shouldn't we get back to the vacation now? Good idea, Cheryl. We still had to recover that hand before a massa food de fafa visit tomorrow. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We've satisfied our episodes, yes? But now we join me, there's something that we might come must come before anything else. Dessert! You want more? Well, there's a nice looking cake shop further up the street. Yes, you're right, Ernest. I admired their cakes out the, the window for too long. I already made up my mind to pay their place a visit before long. This is the perfect excuse. Ha! We're never going to find the hand in time. Come on, Shell. You should be more... <laughs> Ooh, this looks nice. Mmm, smell that delicious sweet scent. Seeing all these tasty streets lined up before my eyes making my tummy rumble. You're hungry? I'll be that time comes to me. <laughs> you know what they say, Sha. There's always room for dessert. Now, let's investigate all the interpreting offerings they have on sale. How about investing the case? Oh, I say, the pay please sure so look all familiar. Do we know him somewhere? Hello, looking to take a little something on tooth, eh? But you can't decide what. Ah, you're the service man from the clock tower. That's it, it's Mr. Lipsky again. So you want a case show as well as the innovation on the clock? The other time, you must be rather busy. Of course I do not. I'm Alex Lipsky. Running this place here is my only job. You mistake me with my twin brother, Hans. He's been working in Bin Ben, not me. Oh, I see, you have a twin. Well, that's expensive. How extraordinary. Bump into both of you on the same day. And how interesting that you've both gone into such different lines of work. No, yes, at first maybe Baker and Techno look close apart, but there are more similarities than you think. Really? What kind of similarities? We must both be good at with hands. We have always had skill to work with complicated things since we were young boys. My bestie works with clocks, I work with cakes, and we both must work with our heads and our hands in the same way. It does sound like you've both chosen very difficult positions, professions, event. No, yes, anyway, you are coming here to buy cakes, not to talk, I think. Please, you look up and tell me what you want. Thank you, we will. We'll have a good look around at everything. When she means everything, she literally means everything. Huh. 
a little girl over here. Bo Bells. These cakes are simply divine and so beautifully present you too. Alex Billy is so talented. He can make a cake in any shape you care to think of, you know? It all looks so sumptuous. I can never decide what to buy. I think I'll maybe have one of these. No, yes, no, yes, more maybe. Ha, <laughs> no, yes. When I come here, I always end up mimicking the charming way Alex speaks. Have you made your decision? Oh, it's so hard. Everything here looks so tasty. By the way, Miss Lipsky, did you know that the one hour hand uh, one of the clocks is the Elizabeth Tower had gone missing? No, yes, I know. Of course, my Betsy is worried about this. Yes, Han said he was helping to have it repaired as soon as possible. He cannot relax if clocks are not running as they should. No, naturally, I understand how he feels. Huh. What? That's weird. These shelves are full of all of Mr. Marvel's ingredients which are used for baking. Look! It all seems to be very complicated. Apparently, even the slightest difference in the amount of sugar can result in total failure. Oh yes, miss. You must have extremely good attention to detail, rather like what's required for this puzzle. Puzzle time. Failing scales. Okay. Here are two sets of stage scales. There's displays on both broken in the same plate. So the bottom left part of the number does not show up. For example, the number of six would appear as a five. The sugar being weighed is showing up one gram heavier than it is on the left hand scales, and one gram lighter it is on the right hand scales. What is the actual total number of grams of the sugar on both sets of scales? Huh. So, in conclusion, still more patch on this later, of course. Oh, that was a six. Oh, I see it now. Oh, brava, miss. I think a cake is in order to separate that little victory. Sadly, though, I have to wait until the other vacation, I think. Hello. What a strange place to find a big teddy bear like this. It's so sweet, isn't it? But then, it's in a sweet shop. <laughs> that was terrible, Ernest. Truly terrible. <laughs> Sorry, anyway, I suppose it's just here as decoration, is it? No, Ernest, I mean, it was absolutely awful. Truly awful. Well, you just have to grin and bear it. Oh, wait a minute, though. There's something strange about this bear. <laughs> this is not a bear. That's one of my cakes. Really? It's not a real bear. I had no idea. You can't tell at all. It's just so realistic. Is everything in here actually one of your creations? No, yes. Everything you see in my shop is cake or pastry made by me to look like something from everyday life. Well, I can see that you have a rare talent, Mr. Lipsky. It is my fun to see how much like a real thing I can make my recreations. I use all different ingredients from around the world to make things look exactly like life. At this moment, I experiment with wafer. Well, your efforts are extremely paid off, Mr. Lipsky. These creations are capital. Oh yes, my customers like it. They want these cakes for presents for their friends and for parties. Bear is made mostly from wafer as well, and eyes, they are chocolate. Wow, I'm so impressed. Let's have more of this. Ooh, multicolor macaroon. Pink coin, okay. Hello. 
Mr. Lipsky said that all the elements and decorations in this copper case that he made, didn't he? Which presumably means that these flowers are real flowers, doesn't it? Yes, you're quite right, yours. On closer inspection, they are actually made from ice and sugar or something. I wonder what they taste like. Miss Legion, no, you can't probably take a bite out of such a for me to object. He has a point. And the clock. Oh, the clock is a cake as well. That explains why the hands aren't turning. It is hard to tell, isn't it? I generally thought it was a real clock at first. So, you have decided what you like? Oh, I'm sorry. We were so busy in my audience room for decorations. Um, yes, I think I'll go for some of your petrifles, please. Oh, yes, you at the age of time, if you don't mind. I always make my petrifles fresh. I only put cream into cases when they are ordered, never before. That way, cases remain crisp like they should be. Ooh, I'm licking my lips already. Good, then I go in the kitchen and make for you. Please wait here. Hmm. Hmm? Pick up a scent, cat. Actually, the rubbish bin there has caught my eye. Huh? It could do with being empty, could it? All the rubbish is spilling out. And we should seem out of place in such an elegant shop. It looks like it's mostly paper in there. Perhaps we should investigate? Puzzle. There's a lot of shreds of paper in the bin. Hmm, it just catches something by the look of it. I wonder what? You can't tell with the paper all in pieces like that. No, we have to do something about that. Paper caper. There are some pieces of paper in the bin with something drawn on both sides. Put them back together as one sheet and figure out what the pictures show. Slide the paper to move it around the frame, then you can get not to overlap any pieces. You can't move the pieces that are already in position. You can flip the paper over by touching it. Oh, okay. It's a, just a regular jigsaw puzzle. It should be easy. Oh, that works. Looks like a squid, I think. It's something like that. Oh shoot, I left that. Okay.
Yeah. Pointing pieces of the paper back together, sugar the recipe of red and sugar of squid. On the bag, it looks like something that looks like an animal clock. Oh, snap. Oh, look, you can see what it is now. Hmm, it looks like some kind of recipe for squid bread, apparently. Ugh, that sounds really unappetizing to me. And I'm a dog. Look at the back, though. What's on the back? There's something drawn on the back as well. Let's see. It's the missing hand of the flowers clock. And there are instructions of how to make it too. It's a blueprint, miss. What the devil is a blueprint of a hand of Big Ben doing the rubbish bin of Alice Lipsky's past year? Hmm. I think we'll keep hold of that particular piece of rubbish. It is alright, miss, without asking him, man. It was in the bin, Earl. I think it's safe to assume it's no longer something that you want. Oh, and here's the man himself. Look! Sorry to keep you waiting. Here are your Lipsky special petroffles. Oh, thank you so much. No, yes, thank you. I hope I see you again sometime. I'm sure that you will. Goodbye now. Good. Now we'll be taking care of dessert. I think it's time we head back. Finally, back to the matter at hand. Clock hand blueprint. Pieced together from the scraps of paper found in the rubbish bin in Lipsky's pastier. Sketched on the back of the recipe was a hand drawing of a clock hand. Let's go back to Chancel and Corn. Alright, Kat, where to next? You've done the restaurant and the cake shop. Please tell me you're full now. Yes, I could eat another thing. So let's carry on down Chancellor Lane. If we keep heading north, we'll head right back to the office. Oh, I know. Today, you miss, we're stopping in for a quick strategy, aren't we? Discuss our next move? Wrong. There's a lovely little bouquet, boutique shop. Let's see the like, I thought we'd have to have a peek. Have a peek? A boutique shop, miss. All right, that's enough, Kat. Get your mind back on the job. Come on, Ernest. Back me up here. Well, if Miss Layton wants to find even more design like close to her, I'm all for it, actually. Ah, uh, give me strength. Come on along, the boutique awaits. Boutique shop, eh? Well, here we are inside the lady definitely. So um where is this boutique shop? It's just next door. Come along. Ha! <sighs> are you really a detective? I'm starting to have my doubts. Will it be open you do you think, Miss? Perhaps it's closed for the day if it's just a small shop. Hmm, you could be right, Ernest. Well, there's only way to find out. Hello. Hmm, the door won't point. Looks like it's closed today after all. Oh, brother. Sorry, miss, but at least you can easily come again another day. See, it's right next door to the office. But I'm in the mood for shopping now. Do you think it's really close? You don't think the owner will open up for me? No one to give up, cat. Dear me, you young terrorists never look where you're going, do you? Sorry? Just look at that puddle on your feet. Oh goodness, you're right. My shoes have been ruined. Thank you, madam. I'm very grateful. Haha, <laughs> don't mention it. See, it is terrible for getting wet, isn't it? It's funny that there are only a puddle in the world. I wonder why. There's nowhere uh, the water to drain away, of course. That's the trouble. Hey, wish there's a fun little conundrum out of our dreams. I wonder if you can come across it before. Another puzzle, huh? Pipe nightmare. Here's some very complicated pipe work. If you turn on the correct two valves on the out of the eight valves of the water top, the water will flow out all the exit pipes at the bottom. 
If the pipe splits into two, the water will flow both ways, but only in a downward position direction. Touch a valve to select and select which pipe you will send down. Figure out which of two valves are the correct ones. So it's like multiple choice, basically. Dear me, I wish you could solve this the puzzle, the puzzle like you saw, like that puzzle. There's always a puddle here after it rains. Ah, uh, did it rain yesterday then? One of my neighborhoods said it was raining in the middle of the night. Yes, I don't know what she was doing that, mind you. It sounds like it was just a passion shower or two though. Hmm, rain in the middle of the night. Overnight rain. We got it, Neil. Case complete. Neither cat earners are shown notice, but a sizable puddle in front of the lucky clover of Chancellor Lane attests due to a strong shower during the night. Let's solve. Aha! I got it! I know what happens in missing clock hand. You do? Indeed, this mystery is history. Who did it then, miss? All in good time, Ernest. We had to call Inspector Hastings for he wanted to hear this, of course. In fact, yes, I should think the results of the forensic analysis will be ready by now. Ernest, could you trot over to Scotland Yard and pick up a copy for the results? You mean the analysis of those samples that you took from the scene? Yes, that's right. Once we have that, I'll explain everything. Only thing I could think of, but 
My Bratsy is not to blame. It was all my idea. Bratsy, no. I thought a plan, not you. Quiet, Alex. I told you just follow what I say. <laughs> it's really very charming. Uh, huh? The idea of a giant clock hand made of wafer. It's a wonderful notion. <laughs> uh, still, I did not tell truth. I made big mistake. No, I don't know what me and my Bratsy can do. Oh, that's easy. Easy? Yes, make another one. We'll present your wonderful wafer clock hand to the ambassador as a gift. What foreign dignitary wouldn't be delighted by a life-sized replica of a piece of one of Britain's most iconic landmarks? Uh -huh. Oh, you British. You know how to entertain, huh? <laughs> Whatever may happen, you will never exit our hearts. So the Master to Five of Visit went off like clockwork, and Britain, placed as a friendly ally to its European neighbors, was firmly re established. Oh, Miss Layton, you're amazing! I can't believe it. That whole wafer thing! How wasn't that just a shaggy dog story? Ah, but you see, Sher, the truth is always stranger than fiction. How do you like the basket, Cheryl? Was it comfortable sleeping in there? Yeah, thanks, Ernest. It beats sleeping on the street, that for sure. Or worse. Ain't you stay out the pound? I'm about to see. Well, if there's anything else at all that you need, do let me know. I hear you're homeless at the moment, Cheryl. You're welcome to live here at the office for a while, if it would help. Yes, that would be a big help. This memory loss thing is a really rough deal. I don't know who I am or where I come from. I just suddenly found myself wandering the streets and that's the first thing I remember. Until you spotted one of our flyers and decided to enlist the services of the best detective in town. Yes, that was one of the leaflets I designed that you picked up, Cheryl. Miss Lane had done absolutely no advertising at all since you showed up here. You know, I had to, so I decided to take tarot into my own hands. Although, we still haven't had any business. Apart from a vagrant canine. Oh well, excuse me for being being man's best friend. Now, now, sure, I didn't say I was dissatisfied. In fact, I plan to use your dogginess to the full. You too? How? Actually, maybe I don't want to know. By having you do what dogs do best. Using your nose, following the scent of a villain from the scene of the crime, for example. Oh, I say, Miss Lady, what a champion idea. Yes, yeah, Cheryl can perform police dog duties with his heightened sense of smell. He'll be a wonderful asset to the agency. I hate to rain in your parade, but this dog knows no notable smells at all. Sorry, that was too many no's. Are you telling us that you can't smell anything? Not exactly, I mean, I can smell things, but no better than a human can, I should say. Really? Oh, what a disappointment. I was thinking I might actually find a use for you. Well, sorry for just a letdown. Never mind, I'm sure Cheryl will prove useful in other ways. Oh, the phone. Get that, would you, Cheryl? Why me? Well, you can't help sit out the truth. The least you can do is take phone calls for me. I'm a dog! I'll get it. It'll be someone with a job for us. Hmm, why can't I let you work on Cheryl? You'll have to pay your way somehow. You need the toilet, perhaps? Or Philly? Really? No. Father's prohibited so many tasks. Oh my god, you can be the AC, the AC mascot. We'll stand you on purpose, you go time to miss it. Oh yeah, and I'll throw in a free massage as well. I love like Ernest is finished on the phone. That was Inspector Hastings from Scotland Yard, miss. Inspector Hastings? Does he have a new case for us? A murder, actually. 
a murder, a big case at last. Well, yes, except, well, it seems it's not that simple. The inspector said it was a, probably a murder, but might not be a murder. But actually, it seems it probably is a murder. Maybe. It's not that hard. There's someone getting killed by someone else or didn't it? I don't know, but the inspector wants you to meet her scholar immediately. A murder that might not be a murder, but probably is a murder. Maybe? Well, it's certainly intriguing. I smell a mystery that needs unraveling. Oh, bother. What is the matter with you? It's the last day of the Riverside Festival, that's all. I had rather hoped to invite you to come to watch the show this evening, Miss Lee Oh, yes. I forgot to the festival was on that, that moment. What kind of festival is it? It's a Latin tradition. It takes place on the banks of the Thames. It's a hoots, Cheryl. There are street stalls serving food and drink and stayed for Oh, it's all rather fun. It goes on for a whole week, but today is the last day. At the climatic Festival festivities, today will be the Riverside Show of Devotion. Yeah, sounds like the real hoot. Oh, it really is. Lots of young men and women are love line on opposite banks of the fame to face each other and declare their mutual love. What? For everyone else? Absolutely. These are couples who declare their love and the rest of the festival will find their true together, you see? Really? I had no idea about that part of the festival. It's jolly romantic, don't you think? I was hoping it's kind of so we can watch the show together, but now... Didn't you say it happens every year? There's always nectar there, isn't there, Romeo? Perhaps not, actually. Numbers have been dwindling in recent years, you see. There are not rumors that we abolish the festival altogether. This may be very well that our last chance to experience it. I must admit, it does sound appealing. Really? Your mom's all, all gets to you too? Does it miss? Oh, joy! Ha! <laughs> Sorry, Amy. It's the food and drink stalls you mentioned that have piqued my interest. We will buy your hunger, not your heart. You should be a dog. <laughs> food at festivals always has better for some reason, don't you think? It's the atmosphere, I suppose. Oh, yes, I couldn't agree more. It's sharing with that someone special that really does it, isn't it? Yes, well, we must keep, keep my spaghetti going longer, I suppose. Come along, you two. We need to pop over that to Scotland Yard. Of course, miss. Why did I need to come? Because you need to earn your keep. You're getting free lodging here in my office, remember? Unless you refer to the street corner I've tried to be discussed before. Oh, ground my lead. Hmm. I'm sorry to say I put the wrong angels is here. Case number two. Number murder on the Thames. So this is the famous Scotland Yard, is it? It's not much of a yard, it's not as not Scotland either. As a dog, oh, like open spaces, both revelations are a bit of a disappointment. It's actually quite imposing, isn't it? I'll say, don't make that the, the Merchop Bulletin police are responsible for keeping the peace across the entire city of London. This is a very special place, and not least because it's where Miss Lady and I first met. It's one of the most treasured memories. What well, treasure faithful made it, wasn't it, Miss? This is no time for memory missing, Ernest. Casey has a puzzle murder, or maybe not. He needs our help with. Come along, let's go in. Oh, sorry, Miss. Right you are. Alright, guys. That'll be it for me, so thank you guys so much for watching. Next time on the Ladies Mystery Journey, we're going to start case number two, Murder on the Thames, and investigate Scotland Yacht. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the update more series and his channel. Hit that bell icon to know if I have a good video. Once again, this is Martin Ellis Trail right here. Sign out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hey, Carter. Peace. I'm gonna live until I die